Breaking news today, Alabama's backup quarterback is transferring and breaking that news for us today is AL.com's very own Matt Zenitz. He joins me now on campus from Tuscaloosa. And Matt, fill us in. What do you know about the situation? Uh, just that uh, Blake's made the decision to transfer and left the program earlier today. We'll have more on just the, the exact reasons why and why now during the course of the next couple of days. But that's the primary information right now, just that Blake has made the decision to transfer and left the program earlier today. Yes, yeah, certainly a lot of questions surrounding that, why he would leave going into week five of the college football season. Looking ahead, what does this mean ultimately for Alabama moving forward for the remainder of this season? It means that Cooper Bateman is thrust into the, the role as Jalen Hurts' backup. Cooper has been the number three quarterback through the first four games. He now becomes um, the, the backup quarterback, and Alabama obviously becomes more reliant on him than they were when he was the third string quarterback. And it also takes away from Alabama's depth to, depth to a th certain degree because if something happened to Jalen Hurts, you had Blake Barnett to choose from, you had Cooper Bateman, you have David Cornwell. But hey, obviously now you're left with the, the combination of Cooper Bateman and David Cornwell after Jalen Hurts. Yeah, and certainly Alabama has to rest easy knowing they have a young quarterback in Jalen Hurts leading the charge right now. But if he goes down, as you said there, so what does this mean really overall for Alabama in the coming years? Well, I'm sure a lot of people when Jalen Hurts won the, the starting job expected there, there to be not only one quarterback, but multiple quarterbacks that, that left or leave after this season. And I, I think the biggest surprise for a lot of people is just the, the timing of it. But it, it, this is kind of inevitable when, when you have a, a true freshman win a starting job. It, each kid that comes to University of Alabama comes here wanting to play, expecting to play, and expecting to contribute. And when, once again, to, to a lot of people, I'm sure this seemed inevitable to a certain degree once Jalen did win. That, that starting quarterback job and yeah so fortunately for Alabama they have two very talented quarterbacks currently committed for next year's class and two of Tagra Viloa and, and Mac, Mac Jones and if Cooper Bateman and or David Cornwell now decide to leave after this year to go along with Blake Barnett obviously leaving puts Alabama in a position where they're, they're probably reliant sooner than they expected to be on those guys to at the very least provide depth behind Jalen Hurts. All right, Matt, thank you so much. Great report there. And for more updates on this story, you can visit us on AL.com.